Recent discoveries in medicine bring new hope for migraine sufferers. Let's review what it's all about. For many years, there was no effective treatment to help migraine patients. Painkillers and some psychiatric medications with multiple uncomfortable side effects were the only available treatment, and migraine patients had to play a game of roulette, trying one medication after the other in hopes of a solution, finding little relief. Patients would then suffer not only the debilitating headaches, nausea, and other migraine symptoms, but also depression, frustration, and anxiety. <laughs> but recent developments in medicine, from biological medications to new physiotherapy protocols, are offering a new hope that the condition may be managed in a way that will allow migraine patients to lead a normal and pain-free life. The first of these is the new class of CGRP inhibitor medications. CGRP, or calcitonin gene-related peptide, is a protein that when released causes an intense inflammation of the meninges, the coverings of the brain. This inflammation then in turn triggers the main nerves of the face to produce some of the excruciating pain we experience. The new biological medications such as Amovig, Ajovi and Amgality target and disable these proteins. Taken once a month, usually in the form of injections, they can become true migraine preventives. The treatment takes time to unfold though. About 60% of people see a 50% reduction of symptoms within one month, and a lucky 15% see a complete relief of symptoms after six months. The reason these new medications might not be effective for all patients is that there are many different causes for migraine. Other triggers, such as cortical spreading depression, the cause of the migraine aura, or a depletion of various neurotransmitters due to chronic stress, can cause similar pain-producing inflammations and require a different approach. Offering such an approach, the second type of new solutions are technologically based and address the migraine pain circuit. Most of the pain we experience during a migraine is caused by an oversensitization of the main nerve of the face called the trigeminal nerve. During a migraine, this nerve gets hypersensitized, causing sensations that would normally be pain-free, such as regular blood flow, touch, light, and sound, to become excruciatingly painful. Electrical neuromodulation devices, such as Nerivia migra and Cephaly, work by sending tiny electrical currents that interfere with how the trigeminal nerve sends these pain signals to the brain. Simply put, the electrical signals from the device keeps the nerve busy and prevents it from sending signals to the brain. Normally, these devices are applied once a migraine attack starts, but can also be used daily to prevent episodes and take about 40 minutes to an hour to take effect. Finally, cutting-edge manual neuromodulation therapies aim to achieve what the electrical devices do but with simple and easy-to-apply physical therapy. These modern physiotherapy-type techniques, such as the MHRM protocol, which is currently undergoing clinical testing, use an application of touch and pressure instead of electrical currents to achieve the same pain-reducing effects. Rather than block the signal from the nerves, these methods address how regular signals get misinterpreted into pain in the first place, recalibrating how the brain experiences them. These methods, which can be applied by a physician or by the migraine patients themselves, normally take only 15 to 30 minutes to produce noticeable effects and have some advantages over their electronic counterparts. While each wearable device only affects certain nerves, and so each device only affects certain migraine symptoms, techniques like the MHRM protocol can be adapted to each patient to address multiple migraine types. In addition, unique to these manual neuromodulation therapies is their ability to create similar effects to the CGRP inhibitor medications. By targeting the vagus nerve, the main nerve that connects our gut to our brain, methods like the MHRM protocol prevent nausea and digestive symptoms, and more importantly, possibly the buildup of migraine-triggering chemicals, acting as an effective migraine prevention technique. Whether it's via new medications, gadgets, or manual therapy, it looks like there is finally a pain-free light at the end of this tunnel. To learn more about CGRP inhibitor medications, visit the following websites, amavig.com, ajovi.com, and mgality.com. To learn more about wearable devices, visit cephaly.com or getnarivio.com. And to learn more about manual therapy-based techniques, visit the following websites, mnmht.org or mhrmprotocol.org.